Right, my camera is running out of um, power, but I wanted to show what's going on with the yurt right now. It got some serious upgrade. I've been hauling a bunch of crap up here. Got all sorts of cuts from the, the brush and the um, tree branches and stuff. Oh man, I'm hurting. It's because uh, I had to haul all this stuff. It's like big and heavy and I'm tired. But you can see the yurt actually looks um, almost like a nice house or room. <laughs> it's like a nice hotel suite. Now the floor creaks and stuff because I didn't, you know, secure it. It's, everything just laid down and it will probably break over time. But I just wanted to show what it looks like in here right now. You can see that um, we got a little nightstand right now or what we're using as a nightstand. And it's an end table or um, dresser. You can put a little TV, a little computer there and watch computer movies out here. You can have a little kitchenette right here. Um, got some books and stuff that I'll be bringing. Some magazines. So you'll have entertainment. Uh, we'll need to set up lighting. And of course we do need to fix all the holes and the leaks for when it rains. Because right now it'll rain right into here. Um, even right here, right by the bed. So... This is what it looks like inside the yurt. It's, uh, I'd say not bad for a $55 yurt. What do you think, huh? I can hear the others right nearby. I think they're hunting. It's pretty roomy, huh? You can see there, uh, some of the floor is cracked because it's uneven and I stepped on it. I may replace that tile and try to even it out a little bit more, but I don't think I can do anything about that without um, making sure the floor is totally even and using um, that cement or whatever that stuff is that they use to put tiling down. But we don't have that, so we're just going to go with what we have. I think all that remains to be done now is just to decorate the yurt and um, finish up the kitchenette so that you can actually cook. Secure the center beam some more, fix the roofing so it doesn't leak. And then um, try to seal for mosquitoes some more. Add electrical power. Clean up all this furniture. I think I'm going to bring a little chair and maybe even a little... Um, that area right there could become a little work desk. I don't know if we need a chair in here. Maybe not. chair can slide on this, but the chair may actually break the tiles. So maybe we'll just use the bed right here. We can sit on the bed. Right here, if I, if I make a little table here this could actually be a little work area so you can actually work from the yurt um i'd say it's not a bad little place huh Let's see what it looks like from the bed whoa you hear the bed breaking here under me ah uh, this is what it would look like just laying down here nice view huh watch tv chill maybe put in the um the $20 air conditioning unit that I made. And I think you'll be really comfortable in here. As long as you have um, electrical power and a, you, know, you run 12 volt appliances or if you have an inverter you can run uh, 120 volts. You'll be all set out here. <sighs> Welcome home, Denoy. Welcome home. Until next time, everybody, have a great day.